Hi everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by today. For those of you that are my familiar friends, I'm so happy that you're here. Thanks for sticking with me for another video. I'm so happy that you're enjoying my content. And for those of you that are new to my channel, that this is your first time visiting, welcome. I am so happy that you clicked on that video and I hope that you enjoy what you see and that I don't disappoint you. And for those of you that are new, my name is Melanie Thompson and it's also the name of my channel. In my last video, I shared that I'm currently transitioning from Tuscan decorating to a more country, primitive, rustic farmhouse. Those are the styles that I'm really passionate about right now. I feel like I'm kind of going back to my roots because in my first home, that's all I decorated in. And recently that love of country is just really creeping back into my heart. I still love Tuscan decorating. It's just time for a change. The decorating that I did in my foyer, you can incorporate in any room of your home. My foyer, dining room, and kitchen have an open floor concept. So all of my rooms just flow from one room to the next. When I decorate, I want it to shine through to my guests. I want them to be able to walk into my home and be able to see the kind of person I am and my personality. So I don't know if that really makes sense or not, but kind of like when you're cooking, um, you might cook a certain way. Like you might cook uh, foods that are just, that feel like home, comfort foods, kind of. So I want my home to feel the same way. I want my home to feel warm and welcoming and I want people to feel like I'm wrapping them in a warm hug when they walk into my home. But before I go and share how I decorated my foyer, I have a few items that I want to show you. Today, I went to the Crossroads Country Mall and you guys, if you've been following me, you know how much I love this country mall. And I recently started selling um, items there. I opened a booth and I'm really excited about it. This is a new venture for me. I've never done anything like this. So I'm really excited to see how it goes. Maybe I'll clear out some things and maybe it won't do so well. I don't know. I have no idea, but I know that it's just an experience that I'm really happy about. I love quilts and I am incorporating a lot of quilted items now in with my decorating. And I found this, this is absolutely beautiful. I was so excited. The lady just added it that morning and I couldn't believe it. So this would look great on a wall, on a buffet, on a table. There are so many ways, just you could drape this over a chair, over um, a sofa, you could put this in a basket. This is just beautiful. And this is what the back of it looks like. And I'm just gonna try to give you a little bit of a close up, just so you can see some of the detail on this but whoever did this did a beautiful job. A lot of times when I buy quilted items, they're marked, but this one, I don't see any markings. So the lady um, wanted $15 for this, which I thought was fair, but I believe I got 10 or 20% off of this, which made it even better. But I love this and I cannot wait to decorate with this. I already have ideas in my head for what I'm gonna do with this. So you'll just have to stay tuned and watch and see what I do with this. And I also bought a few other items and please excuse the sound of the bag. I know that's terrible. I'm gonna go ahead and just plop these items out so that you don't have to hear the crinkling of the bag. Two of my items that I found were one of those look and you shall find moments. Do you know what I'm talking about? 
Oh my goodness, I was so excited. And let me tell you, when you go to these places, like these country malls or antique shops, sometimes you have to really get into those shelves. You really gotta do some digging. And that's what I was doing today. There's this one booth that I have been so lucky at finding things that I'm looking for that suit and fit my decorating style that I'm doing right now. And today when I went to the Crossroads Country Mall, there were a few things specifically that I was looking for. And I just kind of had that feeling. It's like I knew I was going to find the items because you almost always when I'm looking for something, I know that someone in that mall is going to have it because it's a co-op of, I believe, 32 different vendors. And there the selection is just amazing. One of the things that I was looking for was a cupcake uh, tray. Now, I didn't find the size of cupcake, but I found the mini muffin. And this is old and I paid $3.50 for this. And I'm not sure exactly of the age of this, but this is going to look great in some decorating. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be decorating with this today, but I'm definitely going to be decorating with it soon. And I apologize, I can't see the exact markings on this because I don't have my glasses on. And when I don't have my glasses on, I'm blind as a bat, seriously. It's like, I'm amazed that I could even see the writing for <laughs> how much I paid for this. And I also found this spool. I love decorating with spools. And you haven't seen me decorate with any recently um, because this is actually only my second video in my new country primitive farmhouse uh, rustic style. So if you missed my first video in this new series, I will definitely be linking it below in my description box. And I will also include other videos that I, might, that I think you might be interested in. So all you'll have to do is click on the links below in my description box and it'll take you right to the video. I paid $3.50 for this spool. I don't know if this is the original thread that's on this spool. I have no idea. If it is, it's still really strong and in great shape. Somebody may have added this later on, but you can see that it's old. Spools are great. You can decorate with them on a stand. You can put them in a basket. You can put them on a rack, on a shelf. Just tuck them in a little area where you might wanna add a pop of interest or color, texture. Spools are wonderful. And even handles, you can find handles that might've been on an old piece of maybe like a farm equipment, um, maybe a kitchen utensil, any kind of old wooden handle also works great for decorating. I also got this metal mold and it has the little things still intact here. I have no idea of its actual age. I paid $3.50 for it. Now, I'm not even sure what they might have used this for. Um, maybe a cake, maybe a bread. I'm not really sure, but I thought it was really different. I had never seen a mold this shape before. So I thought this would really be nice. I really have an idea um, to tuck this into one of my baskets um, or one of my little uh, wooden kind of baskets that I have. I think this would look really nice in a cute little country vignette. So these next two items are definitely my look and you shall find items. For these items, I, like I said, I knew this one uh, vendor had to have something that I was looking for because I had bought different items from this vendor that I was um, specifically looking for. So I was looking at their shelf and didn't really see exactly what I was looking for. And there was a box in front of this bottom shelf and I could see the bottom shelf that it probably had 
some items that were interesting, but I thought to myself at first, it's like, oh, I really don't wanna get down on my hands and knees today because I had other items in my hand that I was holding. And I just kind of thought, oh, I really don't wanna, you know, get down and dig. But I knew that sometimes you just gotta get down in there and dig. And oh my goodness, I am so glad that I got down there because otherwise I would have missed these two awesome items. The first item I spotted was this spool lamp. Oh my goodness, this is so charming, you guys. I love it. I have no idea how old this spool is. It has the thread on it. I paid $3.50 for it. Now, I'm not sure if it works. I hope it does, but there was no light bulb in it. But I figure even if it doesn't work, it's something that I can replace. I can definitely put a new, you know, light in this. And what I want to do for this is get um, one of the light bulbs, the little ones that kind of look like they have the wax little um, drip, the loop. I'm not sure if you guys know what I'm talking about. And I apologize, I don't have one handy that I can just show you quickly. But I know that I can get them at places like um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's. I can even order them online. So, which might actually be what I do. Um, I did look around there to see if they had any, if any of the vendors were selling any of those kind of light bulbs, but I didn't see any. But this, I can use this in so many places. And this is my awesome item. And I'm going to show you today how I'm incorporating it because this was one of the specific items that I was hoping to find today. I needed to find some kind of a little lamp to incorporate in my foyer decorating. So before I show you my foyer, I'm going to add this piece and this is what it is. Is this not adorable? Oh my goodness, I could not believe that I found this little scoop light. I don't know if it works. And for now, because I don't have those little kind of light bulbs that I was telling you that I wanna get, I'm just going to add a regular little night light for this. Then whenever I get the kind of little bulbs that I'm wanting, I will make sure that I replace it. But I also paid $4.50 for this. And I think that is a fair price. This is so charming. And this could work in so many places. It would be great if you have a little place to hang it because it has this little area to hang. It would be kind of difficult to just sit it like because of the handle as the base, you would have to put something around it like a candle ring or just something to help support it. But I have a awesome idea for this and I really hope it turns out how I'm envisioning. Now that I showed you all my goodies for today, I'm gonna show you how I decorated my foyer. This video isn't going to be a decorate with me, it's just going to be a reveal. But I think what I'm going to do instead of telling you every little thing. If you're interested in something, you can just leave me a comment in my comment box and then I will, you know, reply to you. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to leave me a comment below. And also, I really appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video because it really does help my channel to grow. This rocking chair is very old. My mother-in-law gave it to my husband and I when we first moved into our first home. And there is a beautiful um, decoration on the back of this rocking chair. Let me just see if I can move this and I'll show you just how beautiful um, the pattern is. Isn't that gorgeous? I have no idea of the exact age of this rocking chair, but it is old and I just love it. I bought this beautiful quilt a long time ago off of a coworker of mine. 
She was just starting to uh, get into making quilts and I believe this was one of the first quilts that she made and I just thought it was so beautiful and at the time I was still living at home. I wasn't even married yet but I thought this would be so nice to have as a nice little keepsake. And here's how I incorporated that light. All I did was tucked it in this bird cage and added a few old books and wrapped them with a piece of gingham. I think that look is so lovely and it just completes this look by my chair that I was going for. And please ignore this green tape that's on my door. I still haven't had a chance to paint my trim. This piece here is a rug beater. It's what they would use a long time ago to dust their rugs. And all I did was I went outside and grabbed a few dried pieces of my astable and I tied it with a little bit of jute and I hung it on top of the rug beater and I just love that look. I think that is a very rustic, primitive look. I've been so excited to share this picture with you guys. I bought this a couple weeks ago at Goodwill. I only paid $4 for it. And I only had a few minutes that day that I ran into Goodwill. My husband and I were grocery shopping and I said, just give me a few minutes just to run in and see if I can find anything. And oh my goodness, you guys, I spotted this almost immediately. And I am so glad I did. I just love it. And I don't know who made this. There was no name on the back, but if the person who ever made this just happens to watch this video, you did a amazing job making this. I absolutely love this piece. And this would be something that if you're crafty and you wanted to replicate this, you could do something like this. This is just so gorgeous. I love the colors. The colors are exactly the colors that I love. And look at this old barn wood. Oh my goodness. This barn wood is just gorgeous. I love this. And all I did on top, because I felt like it just needed something to really um, enhance the primitive, rustic, country farmhouse look that I was going for. So I had two of these stems that I purchased a while ago at Hobby Lobby and I never had a chance to use them. And I went and bought, I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's a little mini twig swag. Do you see that? I bought that and I thought to put the mini swag all by itself, it was just a little bit too small. So that's why I decided to add these stems. I think these stems are perfect. And then I just tied a little raffia bow and placed it in the middle. And I think that looks adorable. This cabbage slicer was a Christmas gift from my husband. I was so excited. I couldn't believe 
that he actually got me a cabbage slicer because it was something that I had never mentioned to him before, but that just goes to show you that my hubby definitely pays attention to what I like. So I loved this piece and this is definitely what I'm loving. This is definitely country. It's definitely primitive, farmhouse, rustic. I just love it and I think that it looks perfect just leaning against my dry sink. And here's how I styled my dry sink. This is definitely a look that would be easy to recreate in your home. That's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back next week with more country farmhouse decorating. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful week. I'll see you soon.